All right, so we are back. All right, so in this part of the video, part two of the Creative Workflow 101, we're gonna be creating a contact sheet, okay? All right, these are the terms for this. Uh, this is just an older term, contact sheet. Basically what you're gonna be doing is taking the photos, compiling them into a PDF form or a web gallery, however you would like to do it, or just putting them all in one folder, sending them off to the client and letting them take a look at them, browse through them, whoever the top person is, if it's just one person, or if it's a company, it might be a team of people who, who are just sitting there looking and they're making their picks and they're just so, uh, hmm, yeah, I like that one. Hmm, mark that one up. Oh, oh, scroll, go back, go back. Yeah, what about that? Hmm, yeah, I like that one. I like the color on that one, yeah. That's nice, yeah. I don't like that one, hmm. Yeah, she, you know, I don't know why she put that on. Mm -hmm. That's how business is. You know, people gonna sit down, they're gonna look at the images, they're gonna pick what they want. Uh, I usually put it at the bottom. Uh, let's jump into it, all right? After I put all my images in the folder, let's go back to the same girl. Miss K-I-S-H-A. All right, on a silver look. As you can see, I've already got three folders selected. I have a contact client sheet folder. I have my picks, which is my own personal picks, my own personal selection. And I have a folder say RET, which is short for retouch. I usually make three folders like that. And uh, all the raw images I'll leave outside the folder and I just drag whatever, you know, I like into the folders. Yeah, awkward, all right. So like you click on client sheet, you can see all these, they say small for web. Basically these are JPEGs, these aren't raw files. You don't wanna sit and upload raw images to you know, like your Dropbox or wherever you're sending them to your client because it's gonna take forever. And nine times out of 10 when the client doesn't even have a, doesn't even have software that can read raw images. You know, unless somebody is like smart enough on their end that can like uh, pull these up in Adobe, uh, raw uh, Adobe Bridge and look at them. I mean, look at the file size. Like if I just highlight all these images, just the raw images, it's 115. Yeah, it's like two gigs. I'm not uploading that. But the smaller JPEG uh, images, I'm gonna send them, it's 102 megs. All right, way smaller. So you're like, William, how do I send them into a JPEG form? I'm about to show you, calm down. That's how the chicks be doing, right? doing all this right and I still don't get why why you need to do all the hand gestures I mean, just, just say what you gotta say but that's another video all right so let me click on let's just open this in Adobe bridge all right so you want to click on your raw image and you want to open it up in Adobe bridge as you can see here just clicking on um, all the images and what I like to do I like to open up camera raw which is over here there's another export way of doing it also. I might go over there too. But I like to just open up Camera Raw, hold down Control A to select all images, and click on this little option down here at the bottom. Uh, this, nine times out of 10, this won't be clicked on. But um, as you can see, the resolution out, it's, it's usually set at 300, but I'm gonna put it at 150 as it was set. You chop down the file size. Uh, and I'm gonna reduce the megapixels to a smaller size so I can speed up my upload to my Dropbox and it's not gonna lag, it's not gonna take forever. Uh, the images are still kind of high resolution. This, I would say, probably around you know a, a strong B, B. Plus. And they can look at the images and pick what they want and send it right back to you. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna click on resize. And now, if it was at 100%. You can see that's at full resolution, 22 megapixels. I was shooting with an 18 megapixel camera, but uh, I'm gonna drop that down to like 50% to chop that in half, all right? And depending on your client, like I say, you can drop that lower. You can, you, you can see the resolution is dropping even more. It's down to 3.5, but usually I'll keep it at 50. Oh, what's going on? Hit okay. 
you do that before you save the images out all right don't mess with none of this stuff over this this is you get all of this when you get ready to retouch the photo you need to worry about that right now but when you click on save all right you want to select the folder you want to save it in i usually save it in the exact same folder that uh the exact same folder of where the image is at which will be you know this folder right here but what i would do is i would change the the end name all right as you can see the raw files which we were just showing you earlier in bridge all these crazy aw now blah 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 i would just change it to you know what you want it to be all right i might be talking fast i'm sorry but um i hope you understand what i'm saying but here are all the small images what you want to do you want to select all of them and you know bring them over to a dropbox as you can see i already have this one labeled for the client and influence and i have all these different folders for them to look through okay you know their flyers the NES, the shoot we did in March, all the images I retouched. So what I would do, I would just go and create a new folder, and I will name, I will label it uh, Keisha Silverlook. All right. And what I do is just drag all those images over to that folder. So when they look at it, they'll know. Okay, these are Keisha images. Let me go look at hers. I know what she does. I know her style. So let's go look at her images, and I'll pick which ones I like out of hers. And they'll go look through them and they'll pick what they want and they'll email me back and they'll say we want this image 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 okay and i go work on them and then i send it back to them and then they'll let me know uh can you do this can you do that can you maybe chop that or maybe brighten that darken this you know blah 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 blah, blah. you know that's your job so that's how you create a list Create a folder in your, in your Dropbox or whatever you're using Google Drive or you know iCloud, however you want to do it. And that's how you send it to the client so they can take a look at it and get you started on your next day of work. All right. So you can be proficient and knock out the job fast for the client so they can get the images to their printer if they're doing a brochure or whatever to get those printed up. All right. Easy organization. It makes it easy for you to find the images, locate the images. It makes it easy for them to find the images, locate the images, name the images, and, and it doesn't create a headache. So that's the part about organization that makes this part of the job easy, if that makes sense. All right, contact sheet, part two, uh, we're done. All right, next, we're gonna be talking about what are you gonna do when you're waiting for the client's response? Hmm, check back in, all right. Oh, that was lame. All right. Next. Y'all come back to see the next part. Part three.